My name is Monica. I'm executive producer here at Fox 5. I've been here for six years. I'm originally from Hawaii. My mom's family came from the Philippines. My dad is European. As executive producer, you know, I help the reporters craft their stories. I help the producers craft their shows. I also help build up the big stories of our day. I identify as Pacific Islander in terms of Hawaii raised me, even though I might not have been raised blood Hawaiian. Food is a huge part of, uh, you know, Hawaiian culture, Asian American culture. Uh, when I'm sad, I eat Hawaiian food. When I'm happy, I eat Hawaiian food. It's my comfort food. I mean, I, I love all I love all the traditional Hawaiian food. Um, I love lao lao. Um, Filipino food I don't get to eat too often, but I have um, some uncles that just moved here as well. Um, we had chicken feet the other day. <laughs> So my grandfather shared a bunch of stories with me uh, during his late years. I set up a recording in front of him and I just let him talk a handful of times. What it means to me to be Asian American is I feel like I have a large sense of pride in what I do every day because of my family background. Knowing that the struggles that my family went through to get to America. So knowing that my grandfather spent weeks on a boat to get here and that my family members worked in pineapple fields for pennies a day. My mom is one of nine children. They didn't have enough money to feed all of them, so they gave her away to go live with another family member. Uh, knowing that I drive into work and can do something so grand just makes it so much more impactful. I've met a lot of different kinds of people and I'm so happy the different kinds of people I've been able to meet and come across and work with and see a lot of talented people from a lot of talented backgrounds here. My dad for a few years, um, even though he's European, he's a military background, so um, he for a handful of years lived on an island called Kwajalein, which is a military base in the Marshall Islands. And then when I came here, um, I had mentioned like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to see my dad in Kwajalein for a little bit. And it turns out Nanel grew up there. Of all of Las Vegas and the two of us land here <laughs> together with this connection that was so funny. I genuinely come to work every day and really do absorb where my family came from. And I think that's a rare thing that not a lot of people do. Literally, when I'm driving into work every day, I, I really do, um, in Hawaiian culture, we say mahalo keakua. That means thank you, God. It's such a blessing to be able to share stories of the Las Vegas community knowing that I came from these roots.